Welcome everybody. I'm I'm Josh, Ben's best man. And um, let's not kid ourselves. This day is all about Lauren. So I just want to say, Lauren, every time I see you, I tell Ben how beautiful you are, what a great girl you are. Today, stunning, gorgeous, amazing. Right? Ben, you look okay. So I actually wrote two toasts. I'm going to read an excerpt from each one, and then by your applause, it's going to tell me which one to, to go with. I distinctly remember the first time Ben told me about Lauren. This girl had moved in with the guys in the house. He told me she had a great personality. He looked forward to hanging out with her more and more each day. And I said to myself, wow, maybe this girl will make Ben think about settling down. Maybe, maybe this will develop into something. And here we are now. All right, let that marinate a little bit. That's toast number one. I distinctly remember the first time Ben told me about Lauren. This girl had moved in with the guys in the house, and he told me she had a great personality. She was, she was hot, a lot of fun to hang out with. So I pressed for details, and he told me actually that he'd been pretty tired lately because him and Lauren had been up all night. Okay, so who wants toast number one? All right, bear with me. I'm very nervous, so be kind. Um, I'm sure everyone in this room knows how little girls dream of this day. Um, we are all familiar with the heroic Prince Charming stories and how girls are taught at a young age that their Prince Charming is going to come with their glass slipper. But what Lauren got was not Prince Charming. It was Ben. Um, but Ben was even better. He was a man who redefined Lauren's view of Prince Charming. I want to start toast number two by saying to Ben, it's, uh, it's, a, it's a great honor to be your best man. You're, you're a, just one of the best guys I know, as I'll mention later on. To be your best man, it means a lot to me. Really, I appreciate it. Ben did not come stealing her heart on a white horse. He flew in first class on Delta. And together, they started creating a very love story of their own, one that little girls should really dream of. I can't wait to marry you. See you soon, baby. I love you, Lauren. My sweet Ben, I can't believe the day is finally here. All the planning and coordinating is about to come together. I'm so ecstatic to see your handsome face all dressed up to the nine, waiting for me at the end of the aisle. This day has truly been a long time coming. I still remember the earlier days when I moved to Cherry Valley and first met you, Ben Taylor from Tennessee, who was always out of town refereeing D-League basketball. That's all I knew, but it took all of a month at most for me to realize that you were someone I wanted to end my life forever. The connection we made was instant, and little did you know we were building a relationship and foundation that would eventually lead us to, a, to our forever. I say little did you know because I always knew. I know I joke and play about it, but I honestly knew in my heart that we were perfect for each other, and if we took a chance on us, it would last a lifetime. That year I spent living with you at Cherry Valley are the times in our relationship that I hold closest to my heart. When I think about those times, I can't help the huge smile that comes to my face. The year we spent building a friendship, learning about each other in ways that only the true roommates could. Getting to know you, including your quirks, your oftentimes messy ways, your playful nature, and your undeniably caring heart. Felt a, I felt a feeling when I was around you that I never felt with anyone else. It was fun, it was easy, and it was meant to be. We had this amazing way of making the simplest things fun. We were truly the best of friends. I think that's why we worked so well as a couple, because we waited until we built a foundation. You're the, my love for life, and nothing will ever change that. There aren't words sufficient enough to express the feeling you get when your best friend has found her soulmate. I have watched Lauren restore her hope and faith and love because of Ben. They may not be the most traditional couple you have met, and at times you may wonder if they both lost their minds. But that is what I love most about them. The fact that these two people could be their complete selves, keep it real 100% of the time, 
and continue to be crazy in love. He's not perfect, you aren't either, and the two of you will never be perfect. But if he can make you laugh at least once, causes you to think twice, and if he admits to being human and making mistakes, hold on to him and give him the most you can. He isn't going to quote poetry. <laughs> He's not thinking about you every moment, but he will give you a part of him that he knows you could break. Don't hurt him, don't change him, and don't expect for more than he can give. Don't analyze, smile when he makes you happy, yell when he makes you mad, and miss him when he's not there. Love hard and when there is love to be had. Because perfect guys don't exist, but there's always that one that is perfect for you. I had a dancing company, and Ben helped us one summer put me in post. Now Ben weighed about 125, maybe 130 pounds. <laughs> And there was one fence we were working on, and uh, Ben handled 80 pound bags of concrete all day. About four o'clock that afternoon, my partner and I, we were putting some fence, uh, fence posts in, and we looked, and Ben was so tired, he could barely walk. <laughs> and yet he still kept walking back to that truck, picking up bags of concrete, and going and setting them down. I knew uh, Ben beforehand, but I knew the kind of hard dedication he had then. Martin, that's the dedication he got to you. Lauren, it's been a long trip to get here. <laughs> I want you to know that you can always count on me and always count on my love, support, and shoulder to cry on. Loving and caring about someone isn't always about the things you say, but more about the things you do. I'm um, without a doubt the luckiest girl alive to be marrying the man who may not always say the right things, but does the right things on a daily basis. I don't know what I did right in life to deserve someone like you, someone who genuinely cares so much about me. I'll always remember you telling me, I can I can mess with you all day, but if someone else ever tried, I wouldn't allow it. That stuck with me. The love you have for me as a parent, and I, I only hope that I can spend the rest of my life showing you the same love and care in return. Who gives this young lady to wed this young man? Mother and I do. Ben, yeah, you found your help that is fit for you. And Lauren, I think you found your help that is fit for you, you're made for each other. That's not to say you're not going to have challenges and struggles. You know, I kind of hope that you actually do because when you have those challenges, that's when you really hold on to each other the most. Ben, are you ready for your vows? Yes, I am. Would you please repeat after me? I've been, take you, Lauren. I've been, take you, Lauren. To be my beloved wife. To be my beloved wife. To have and to hold you. To have and to hold you. To honor you. To honor you. To treasure you. To treasure you. To be at your side. To be at your side. In sorrow and in joy. In sorrow and in joy. In the good times and the bad. In the good times and the bad. And to love. And to love. And cherish you always. And to cherish you always. I, Lauren, take you, Ben. I, Lauren, take you, Ben. To be my beloved husband. To be my beloved husband. To have and to hold you. To have and to hold you. To honor you. To honor you. To treasure you. To treasure you. To be at your side. To be at your side. In sorrow and in joy. In sorrow and in joy. In the good times and the bad. In the good times and the bad. And to love. <laughs> and to love. And cherish you always. And cherish you always. You know, two of the phrases we always need to remember is, um, forgive me, and I'm sorry. And that's really encompassing in love. I think you have a symbol of your love to each other. Yeah. You will place that on Lauren's finger and again tell her that you love her. Love you. Lauren, as you place that on the ring, on Ben's finger, also tell him that you love him. I love you most. Ben and Lauren, by the power granted to me by the great state of Florida as a minister of the gospel of Christ, I now pronounce you husband and wife. You may now kiss your bride. Yeah. I find myself so often just daydreaming and thinking about what the future holds for us. You and your progressing career with the NBA, me finally figuring out what my passion in life is, our first real house that we will make a home together and extending our family. I now want to Ben and Lauren have a successful marriage and life and to the new baby Zoe. Yeah. Yeah. Picturing you holding our baby gives me chill bumps. 
I have full faith that you will be an amazing daddy to our babies. You are already so good with our Zoe. You are my love for life, and I cannot wait to be your wife. I will love you forever. Here's Lauren Gail. I've had the honor of watching these two people evolve throughout their relationship and as they unknowingly were preparing themselves to be the perfect husband and wife. Shortly after their first meeting, Lauren came home and told me she was going to marry Ben. Mind you, this was before they were dating, so obviously as her friend I was a little concerned, um, but it didn't take long to notice uh, their undeniable chemistry. Although this is just the beginning of their journey, I have already witnessed Ben and Lauren persevere through better or worse, sickness and health, and for richer or poor. Maybe not that poor. Uh, <laughs> who's he been? He told me he was really tired because they've been up late all night talking. I knew there was something special about this girl from the get-go and the way he talked about her. I knew something was up, and now here we are. A wise man, Ronald Davis, once said, your wife is the only relative you get to pick, so pick a good one. Ben, you picked a, you picked a great one, okay? He's got a nice Woodbury contingency back there, and they came all the way here to Orlando from Woodbury, Tennessee. Let's give a round of applause to Ben's family. Yes, Teddy, Cindy, the whole family. To all of you, on behalf of all of us, thank you for not having the wedding in Woodbury, Tennessee. <clears throat> we really appreciate that. <laughs> Otherwise, I'd probably be at a campground right now talking through a bullhorn. But the best part is when you come home from that long, exhausting work trip, and a woman who I can reassure you loves you more than anything in this world is waiting for you. A woman who knew this would be the inevitable for you too from the moment you hit her with your southern charm. Our Heavenly Father, we thank you for this day. We thank you for all the many blessings of life. Father, I thank you for Ben and for Lauren, their love for each other, their commitment to each other. Father, we thank you for their desire to serve each other every day of their lives. Father, we pray that uh, we'll look back on today and realize this was really the beginning point of their love and that years down the road, they'll realize how much more love truly is. Father, we ask that you'll grant them safety, grant them peace, and keep them forever safe. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. In closing, I'd like to do something a little different. Where's Randy and Susan? Randy, there he is. Yeah. Randy, I'm going to talk to you directly for a second. Because your daughter got married today. You walked her down the aisle. I saw the emotion in your eyes. I have two, I have two daughters. Last night, we got back to the hotel after the rest of dinner, and they were both sound asleep. You never love your kids more than when they're just like sleeping peacefully, right? So I looked at them sleeping and I actually thought of you and Susan. Because uh, the thing I would be thinking to myself when I, you know, when the day comes and my daughters are getting married or does this guy love my daughter as much as I love her? Is he gonna treat her the way she deserves to be treated? And I'm here to tell you, Randy, that with Ben, you can go to sleep tonight and you don't have to worry about anything. Your daughter is in great hands. Ben is the most loyal, has the most integrity, is the most caring human being that I know in life. And I don't know if you're a religious man or not, but you should thank God every day for bringing him into Lauren's life. I really believe that. So let's raise our glasses. Ben and Lauren, love each other for the rest of your lives just like you do today, and it'll all be great. Thank you for giving my best friend her happily ever after. I love you both so much. Cheers to the new Mr. and Mrs. Taylor.